How to Ski, an instructional tutorial. Step 1. Gear. First, I personally recommend a pair of long johns with extra underwear underneath. Secondly, you'll want to choose either snow pants or a snow bib. To me, snow bibs are more comfortable because snow can't get in through the waistline when you fall. One of the main components to skiing is your ski boots. Now, when you put them on, you'll want to pull up this part to get your foot into the boot. Now, when you get your feet into your boots, you'll want to buckle them up so they are tight enough not to fall off the ski lift, but not too tight where your feet cramp. Tip, failure to keep out clothing items besides your socks in your ski boots will result in poor blood circulation, which will cause your feet and calves to cramp. Lastly, you'll need to wear a snow jacket. Step 2. Safety Due to COVID restrictions, you must wear a neck gaiter or a mask while skiing. Disclaimer, you can pull it down while skiing. When you are skiing, you can get really thirsty, which is why I recommend using a hydration pack, preferably one that straps to your back and not the waist. You'll need to wear a helmet at all times to protect your head when falling. You can also, if you want to, utilize a pair of skiing goggles, which protect your eyes from the blinding snow. Step three, ski lifts. So the way it works is that everybody goes in a straight and single file line, and there are multiple lanes typically. Now, while everybody is doing this loading process, you must remain conscious and courteous. This means that your skis shouldn't touch the skis or snowboards of other people. Once you arrive at the loading dock, you should stay put at the red line until a new ski lift chair comes down and you should chase after the back of it. After that happens, you should look behind you to see a new ski lift chair. Now, once all of the passengers are situated, you may pull down the safety bar. Step 4. Skiing Methods For beginners, when you first ski, you want to ski with the method of pieing. That is when your feet spread apart to form a triangle to slow down, and when you put them back together to go faster. When you eventually get more advanced, you will want to go faster, and you'll turn by lifting your back skiing foot slightly and hold it until you make a full 180 degree turn, otherwise known as parallel. Lastly, step 5, which is the final step, is on how you should fall. Now, it is guaranteed that you will fall eventually at some point. So, when you fall, it is optimal to fall to your sides and not in front or behind you. Because if you don't, you can pull a leg, muscle, and or break of bone. However, sometimes when you are skiing too fast, your skis will fall off your boots and you'll fall forward and start rolling, which is perfectly fine. Just make sure not to roll or fall off a cliffside. Now that you have viewed this tutorial, you may get the correct gear and repeat all of the steps on this list. You are now ready to enjoy your day of skiing.